Hello Amstrad fans and welcome to another episode of It's Not Easy Being Green Screen. And it's tennis season and why not let's look at a tennis game on the Amstrad CPC. Here is with a very nice rendition of the BBC's uh, Wimbledon theme, International 3D Tennis. It's an interesting tennis game this and a lot of people consider it maybe a little bit poor but actually Amstrad fans like to consider it interesting and strangely playable. It's an odd tennis game indeed. So we're going to go on the grass because we're going to give it the biggest uh, amount of uh, green screen clash. Obviously it's, uh, I've set it in colour here and then we're going to switch to the green screen shortly. In 1990, a quite late release, but it's um, it's a nice approach to a tennis game and it's got a lot of... Uh, detail to it. There's a lot of detail to this game um, beyond its uh, very plain exterior. It's like I say, nice intro music. It's got sound effects all the way through. Now, what we are presented with here with stick men playing on a slightly offset isometric tennis court. And I completely missed that return, didn't I? So I'm the uh, black stick man at the bottom, playing the white stick man at the top. Uh, nice serve there, really nice uh, frames of animation, I really quite like that. Um, there's a good change of speed in the way you hit the ball as well. And there's a lot more detail to, in the way it looks, honestly. Um, the further up the uh, difficulty level you go, the more um, you can control the ball, you can do different serves. You can even put spin on the ball, even though it looks like a block. Um, spin on the block, I guess. Spin on the block? Sounds like a bloody boy band. Um, but... It, I know it doesn't look much, but I tell you what, it's very enjoyable to play. But, how enjoyable is it when you switch it to green screen? Because it is difficult. It is a difficult tennis game. Enjoyable, but difficult. So, let's pause the game. And, let's switch to green roundabout. Now. Um, uh, oh, okay, um, the court has, pr well, you can still see the court, which is good, it's generally blended into the surrounding of the court, uh, the outside, you can still see the wall, that's good, can't see anything beyond that, um, the white man, and my opponent, he, he is glaring, isn't he, he's like, he's on the day glow here, really, um, bright <laughs> lime green shade, um, it's good news of the fact that we haven't seemed to have lost the ball. We seem to have lost the scoreboard though. The scoreboard appears to have just blended into the sky there. That's a shame. Uh, but here we go. I'm on the top now. Uh, so at least we can still see the players. That's always good. Especially the bloody opponent. He's really bright. When I flash, that's... Um, well, when I'm in a sort of an easier mode, you can play it. When you're in the amateur mode, you will flash to sort of like signify that's the sort of optimum time to hit the ball. When you're in a higher mode, you've got say more options of hitting the ball and stuff. But we're not talking about that. We're looking at the visuals and how difficult it is to play. Um, one thing I've just noticed here that the ball does seem to sort of like get cluttered in uh, with the opponent there. And it comes of disappears for a bit there. Not, like I said, not the end of the world considering you're not hitting the ball at that point. Or maybe, you know what, actually, it's not that bad to play in the green. It's certainly not easy, it's certainly easier in colour, but uh, it's not that bad to play in the green at all. Which is a surprise, because I thought it would be, I wonder how the uh, other surfaces would fare. I mean, I'm assuming they would fare better considering they're not in a shade of green, in a, so there would be darker shade or a lighter shade, so the court would stand out more, I'm assuming. The court doesn't stand out a lot in this. I must admit. Uh, your opponent certainly stands out. Well, he stands out like a spare prick at a wedding. You, yeah, you can still see yourself quite clearly. So you can still see the ball quite clearly. So the only things we've lost here are the scoreboard blending into the um, into the background in, on in the uh, interim. And uh, the surroundings have sort of disappeared. Any angles and lines seem to have vanished. It is more difficult to see. It is indeed. But uh, on that note, I will bid you farewell. There you go. Not easy being green screen, but... Uh, not too bad in this case. It's um, surprisingly fared well. So, I'll see you on the next episode in this green maze. That was a terrible way to finish, wasn't it? Never bug out.